The Egghead Show. Hey guys, what's going on? Egghead here, and welcome to the Egghead Show. Today we're going to be responding to <laughs> Rick Wiles of True News, and he's saying that Pokemon Go, Pokemon Go, yes, yes, Pokemon Go, you know, the fun little game that you can go outside, get exercise, catch Pokemon, meet new friends, <sighs> he's saying it as... Pokemon Go to sp Satan. He's he's saying that Satan is using Pokemon Go to spawn demonic powers and murder Christians. Uh, evidence, logic, there is none. Let's get it right on to it. On Monday, True News hook Rick Wiles and recounted a story about how he called the police after seeing a man taking photos of his office, only to discover that the suspicious man was playing Pokemon Go on his cell phone. Wiles, however, said that something sinister is afoot, warning that these Pokemon creatures are like virtual cyber demons. Has he ever heard of the video game Pokemon? Has he ever heard of the playing card? Has he ever heard of the TV show? Yes, pokey wild creep animals that you catch, train, love, and care for are virtual cyber demons. Oh my god. And what this man was and what this man Friday was trying to find a Pokemon demon that has been placed inside the true news office. Yes, because Pokemon because the, the creators of Pokemon are truly anti Christian. Jesus Christ. What if this technology is transferred to Islamic Jihadists? And Islamic Jihadists have an app that shows them where Christians are located geographically. He asked, noting that the many of the apps, Pokestops, and, and gyms include churches and other house of wor worships. I love how he just thinks that the churches and Pokestops are only fucking churches. Uh, no, you're just fucking ignoring all the fact that you're just ignoring the fact that Pokemon, that the Pokemon game is about fucking having fun, going out and getting exercise. Pretty sure this asshat is basically saying that, oh, I'm pretty sure this game right here, I'm pretty sure Rick Wiles... Is, is 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 against that too? Oh, speaking of which, isn't Rick Wiles the guy that that does the um, bonus buckets? Let me see. Wait, what the hell? All right, fuck it. I guess not. Wait a minute. I think yeah, that is him. That is the freaking bonus buckets guy. Never mind then. All right. The enemy of Satanists targeting churches with virtual digital cyber demons, while said before adding, I believe this is a magnet for demonic powers. Oh, really? And then we have this. These Pokemon, Pokemon creatures are like virtual cyber demons. Yes, digital demons. Digital demons, oh, digital no. Digital demons. Digital demons, you say. Okay, uh, continue. So this gets this is where this starts to get weird. If if it's not weird yet, it's going to get weird. So this morning, Doc and Edward and I are in an editorial meeting. We're talking about the topics for today's program, and mm -hmm. Pokemon Go was one of the topics. Right. Oh really? Now this is before the police officers showed up. Right. We're talking. Yeah, Pokemon Go is a hot topic right now. It's getting a lot. Of, it's basically. Ups, it's basically just shoved Nintendo sales up through the roof. But of course, it's satanic because Christians are against anything fun. Yeah, why don't you go back to scanning people that basically said, get your bonus buckets, Rick. Talking about Pokemon Go. And Edward and Doc said, Rick, we're gonna we're gonna present to you a really far out idea about Pokemon Go. What if this technology is transferred to Islamic jihadists? No. 
I'm pretty sure Islamic jihadists will not want to play a fucking game made by people in Japan. I'm pretty sure if jihad, um, jihadists, if any of them, are too busy killing people. You know? And Islamic jihadists have an app that shows them where Christians are located geographically. Oh, that's beautiful. Now, you may say, well, how is that possible? Okay. But there's a reason why we ask that. Yes. Because the game itself reveals something, doesn't it? Oh, yes, really? it does. So after the police officer told us that this man that we saw Friday on our property riding around our building holding his phone. A grown man. A grown, yeah, 40-year-old man on a four-wheeler uh, riding around our building suspiciously holding his phone up like he's photographing our building. Then the police officer comes back and tells us, look, I solved the case. He was playing Pokemon Go. Now, this is where, this is, this is why in the office today, we all did a triple take looking at each other because the theory that Doc and Edward presented to me this morning before the police officer came here was, what if we find out that Pokemon Go is primarily, the demons are primarily being located inside churches. Uh, for well, 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 Pokemon Go is basically, uh, the Pokemon are basically a set place anywhere. They're not just subjected to your fucking church. I found a Pikachu in my theater. Fuck off. Well, guess what? They downloaded an app. In our office, we stood here and I watched them do it. They downloaded the Pokemon Go app. And lo and behold, there is the True News office. There's the outline of our building. There shows the, you see, where it would be exit doors, windows. Mm -hmm. And inside the True News building was a virtual cyber demon. And what this man, Friday, was trying to find was the Pokemon demon that had been placed inside the True News office. You have no idea how this game would work. You don't know how the game works. It's technology. The game is randomized for every freaking user. Now you may say, okay, uh, so you found one. But why is it significant about somebody else getting this information? Because if this, if this technology was in the hands of the wrong people, right, and you designated all the churches, mm -hmm. and, and you could even take it so far as the homes of the pastors, the elders, the deacons, the Sunday school teachers, right, the, the youth pastors, you could, you could have a phone with an app that would lead you to the physical locations of these strong Christian leaders. I don't think anyone wants to come to your fucking house that's filled with fucking bonus buckets, Rick. I don't think anyone wants to come to your fucking house that's filled with nasty, disgusting, day-old food that you sell off as bonus bucket survival kit. And what we found was startling about where these Pokemon congregate so edward and another employee jumped in their vehicle and took off i said go check it out in vero beach edward you were gone for a couple hours tell us what you found this is vero beach today what did you find well we found the churches in our area were all portals they were points rally points where you could go put down a, a bot bait, or basically, this is where you can go to find and capture these demons. It's on the app. The app will lead you to that church. When you drive around Vero Beach, Florida, with your Pokemon Go app open, are you telling me that the, the cyber demons that have been placed by this game in Vero Beach, that they are primarily located in Vero Beach churches? Yes. The one... Not all of them, jackass. If there's a okay, so 
basically what you're saying is that I need to go to one of the churches here in downtown Dallas and basically say, holy shit, there's a Mewtwo. And try to catch it. Okay, I'll do that. And if I don't see one, I won't. I won't. I'll just basically say you're a fucking liar. Ones I found were in churches, hospitals, or medical facilities, and malls. Hospitals, shopping malls, and churches. Right. Got, got any proof and we that? weren't the only ones to find this. The original tip we got was that 70%. Of the actual locations where these rally points are located are churches. There's actually a big joke going right <coughs> now on these tech forums of mostly secular atheist folks are are into this kind of thing. And Oh, so so it's only atheist, secular people and and evil people that are only in the Pokemon Go. Oh, okay, so basically Well, of course it makes sense because you Christians don't like anything fun. They're joking. You would rather fucking just be in a fucking house selling be scam artists all day. King. Well, look, uh, the app is bringing people to church. Okay, I see. To I mean, w would you want people to come to your church? Would you want people to come to church? Isn't that your whole goal to get people into church? Oh, but if they're not, but but, but they better not be playing Pokemon Go on their fucking cell phones. You're a fucking retard. Two things here. Number one, the enemy, Satan, is targeting churches with virtual digital cyber demons. Now, you might may say, well, it's a make-believe. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a game. It's a game. A game that's supposed to be fun. A game that's supposed to get you active in the world. And, Rick, it seems like you're against people being healthy. Well, actually, it makes sense because you actually feed them day old stinking bonus buckets. Object. Well, well it's, it's believable enough to got a 40-year-old man on a four-wheeler driving for around one. looking for one. And, and most likely he would have come in this building had a door opened up. See, we've already talked to, we've talked to locations where people have gone into churches looking for for these demons. Yes. Yeah. They're going into the churches looking for this Pokemon cyber demon. And in case you guys are thinking, we're just making this up, there are articles in mainstream media that say that churches are rallying points for Pokemon Go. I would tell you this. If you should download the Pokemon Go uh, app. I wouldn't keep it. I, I believe this thing is a magnet for demonic powers. Drive around your city and see where the Pokemon demons are located. You will find that they're in the churches. You're a fucking moron. Rot Wiles went on to claim that Pokemon Masters may soon start telling people to kill people in those buildings. Yes, because Pokemon Masters are all about killing people. Oh my god, no. It's about battling... Training, capturing Pokemon. I mean, why am I talking? Why am I telling this guy? Why am I? What? I swear to God! I swear to God, Rick Wiles, you had the the mind equivalent of a five year old, and you don't even know what Pokemon is. Hell, when I was a kid, I watched Pokemon. I watched Pokemon every single motherfucking day when I was at home. When I was got home from school, am I somehow worshiping Satan? No, you fucking moron. What Pokemon is, is that it teaches you love, care, and respect for animals. Obviously, you wouldn't know that. You wouldn't know any of that. Fucking fly. <sighs> Wiles went on to claim that Pokemon Masters start telling people to kill these to kill people in those buildings in order to catch more Pokemon, comparing the use of the app to Philando Castle's girlfriend's use of the Facebook Live to live stream the aftermath of Castle's shootings by a police officer, which he had which he said might have said. So you're comparing you're comparing a guy who was killed by an who a man who was killed by an officer 
to Pokemon Go, a game that lets you catch old Pokemon and makes you let you go outside. You are retarded. This conversation led True News co-host Edward Sal to read a fake quote from the creator of Pokemon alleged endorsing Satan. Let's see the quote. And oh, well, you know, it's from Snopes. And Snopes is awesome because, well, it gets to point out facts. Jokemon, an old interview with Pokemon creator, reappeared in, 2000, in July 2016 thanks to the popularity of Pokemon Go. Claiming the creator said that in an interview that the game is an anti-Christian and was developed with Satanists in mind. At false, supposedly the creator of Pokemon games admitted that the game is anti-Christian and attempted to get back at his religious parents. Some people say it's demonic and he reportedly said it would could understand people thinking this. And the idea of his true origin. In July 2016, the internet was flooded with stories, some true, mainly false, about Nintendo's widely popular video game Go. Popular, video, popular new video game Pokemon Go. The game's popularity even managed to resurrect an old, fake interview with the game's creator, Satoshi Tajiri, in which he purportedly stated that the Pokemon, that Pokemon was deliberately anti-Christian and more... That was created in Satan's mind. A rare interview Pokemon creator Satoshi Tsuchiri, he admits the game was created as a backlash against his Christian parents. Jesus Christ. It's false. It's false. I mean, read this. Read this. No, Satanism did not come up during the interview. All he did was, oh my, oh my god, people are so stupid. People are so fucking stupid. They're spawning demonic, de they're spawning demons inside your church. Uh, no. No. They're targeting your church with demonic activity. No. No, they're not. No, they're not. If you start seeing things start falling off the wall by things that aren't there, then yes, maybe you might you might maybe you might have some demonic activity. He then warned again that this technology will be used in the enemies of the cross to target, to lo target, locate, and execute Christians. Uh, Wiles, really, dude. Pokemon Go is about training, going out, having fun, locating wild Pokemon. Capturing them, treating them with love, care, and respect, battling poke, battling other Pokemon, battling gym mem gym leaders. You know what the moral of the story of story was with Pokemon? Love and care your fucking pets. Treat them with respect. And I'm pretty sure, Wiles, you would know this. If you actually take your fucking time, quit being a goddamn fear mongerer, and actually look it up, watch the movie, watch the show, watch the, uh, look at the playing cards. These are fans. These are hardcore fans of Pokemon, and you're just basically spitting all over them. Fuck you. This is why I no no longer want to be associated with your religion. Anyways, guys, I'm Egghead. Fuck Rick Wiles and his pathetic, stupid fear-mongering. I'm gonna go play fucking Pokemon Go. Fuck you, Rick Wiles.